So about a month ago, I bought the Shure MV7 microphone, and to be honest, I just wasn't impressed. Nope. Granted, it was better than my Gala Wave 3 microphone, but not by much. It just didn't seem to do it for me. But that was until now. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is That Gaming Dad 25. Today I'm be giving you guys a very quick video on the best filter settings to use on the Shure MV7 microphone. Any microphone I've ever used, I've never had any issues finding a video like this for the best settings for that microphone. But in this case, it was always either showing the XLR settings, which I don't have, or the motive settings, which I wasn't a fan of. So today I'm gonna be going over the best filters in OBS to make this microphone sound amazing. Okay, so before we get started. I do keep the gain on this microphone turned all the way up. That's how you get the sound you're hearing right now. And secondly, we're gonna be using the Reaper plugins. So there's gonna be a link to download those down below, but I'm sure most of you guys have them already, but I'll leave the link anyway. Okay, so now we're in OBS. We're gonna go and go to the microphone of our choice, click on that, and then click on filters. So this is gonna be the order we're gonna use, noise gate, equalizer, compressor. Uh, switching those around will switch the sound around. So if you wanna switch them up, feel free. If you like my sound, keep them as is. First, we're gonna do a noise gate. So what we're gonna do is go to the little plus sign down here. You're gonna add a VST plugin, and then when you add you're gonna go to this little scroll down right here and you're gonna pick regate so open the interface here the only thing we're really gonna change is the little slider over here um i don't put this too high just enough to remove some of the background noise uh with the microphone like this you don't really need it too high so i put that negative 35 honestly you can get away with not even using this personally i just keep it on just to be safe second we're gonna do the equalizer Go to the plus, go to VST plugin, and then you're gonna go to re EQ. So, this is where it gets a little bit complicated, all right? So, let's go and open the interface. So, when you open yours, you're only gonna have, I believe, four bands. We're gonna have to up those numbers. Those are rookie numbers. So, click on the number one, and then you're going to put that frequency at 31, or about 31, and make that negative nine. Uh, that's noises that most human voices don't make. So just turn that shit all the way down, all right? Two, we're gonna put that at 63, put that at negative three. Three, we're gonna put that at 400, and that's also gonna be negative three. Four, we're gonna move to 2000, and that's gonna be positive two, all right? So now you're out of bands, what do we do? So you're gonna go to right here at the bottom left where it says add band, and that's gonna give you number five. So for that one, we're gonna put about 4,000. And at about 4,000, we're gonna do plus one, right? And lastly, we're gonna do this number six, and you're gonna put 16,000, and it's gonna be negative four, all right? So let's go back through these. 31.7, negative nine. 63, negative three. 400, negative three. 2,000 is gonna be two. 4,000 is going to be 1, and 16,000 is going to be negative 4. And that's it for the EQ. So for the compressor, let's go and open the compressor. We're going to put that at negative 15, and then the attack we're going to keep at 2. The release is going to be 100. Don't got to mess with anything else, and you'll be all set. Okay, so now your microphone sounds amazing. You're ready to go stream, but before you cut that stream on, check out one of these videos right here. They're going to improve your stream in other ways. Fire content as always, so be sure to check one of these out right here.